That's something I haven't done in quite a bit. A toy review. But you probably already know that from the title. So as you all know, this is Bloodhound from Apex Legends. Young Blood skin specific. Now I also own the original. The T-Pose is original. Um, I didn't toy review him because I didn't feel like it. And also I don't think I had a YouTube channel around that time. But, honestly, I think I like the Young Blood version better. Because I used the skin when I play Apex. If you guys want to see more of that, drop a like. But, before we get in that really anything, um, let's do his posability. How about that? So, he has a, seems to be a ball joint at the head so he can swivel and sort of look up. And no, I'm pretty sure he just has Pretty sure this entire thing is on some sort of joint. Doesn't seem, gosh, doesn't seem to be somewhat connected. So technically, you might be able to take it off. He seems to have some sort of ratchet joint from his arm there, and he has a double jointed arm. It's kind of like a Marvel Legend. I don't think this arm is the best example at it, but you can bend this down here. There it is, as you can see, and it has a joint at the arm, like that. That's it, and also a swivel, of course. Now, the waist, oh yeah, same thing on the other side, um, the waist is just a basic swivel ratchet joint as you can see well I just paused it <coughs> there I don't know if you heard that now the legs okay um doesn't have the greatest spread because all of this material and it actually does have a good version of like a kick there and it has a double knee joint. And it, well, sorry for this water bottle in the way. Just pretend it's not there. And it also does have a swivel, of course. Now, let's get that double knee joint working. Now, I'm pretty sure that's the max it can go. It's also a ratchet joint. Now, if we come down to, you know, this part. It does have this... It has like an up and down, you can barely notice it, but it's there, and it has a swivel. Of course, the toe bend. And that's all of it. That's all the ability he has. Or I guess Bloodhound has. Now let's get into the accessories. First accessory is this base. For it. Uh, if you count it as an accessory, that's you. I count it. If you don't, I'm not offending. Um... I'm not gonna tell you to leave, you can still stay if you want to. If that even gets views. Comes with his famous charge rifle. Beautiful skin, too. It doesn't really have any possibility. When I first got this, I thought this could actually open, but it doesn't. So, oh. This is cool, though. Very cool. A lot of detail. It looks exactly like how it looks in Apex. Now let's get to the next accessory. We got Arthur, or Arta, or whatever you call him. Has the blue beak version, except for the old version, the first Bloodhound figure, has just the black beak, more of a crow. But honestly, I like the blue version better. Oh yeah. With the detail, like always, really does look like the crow. Except this part, I don't really know what that's for, but whatever. Next accessory, please. My favorite accessory. It's made of a flexible material, and it's not really original to the source because this is not usually gold. This is usually black, and this is black too, but with red eyes. But it's still it, and it's still really good. Now, I don't know if this was made or this was how it looked. I don't really understand it. I think this is the one that looked like in the, um, 
Young Blood trailer and not the actual game. But it's made of a flexible material, which I didn't because I'm afraid of breaking it when I put it in his hand. Now let's load him up with all these accessories. But then again, it's because of detail. Like always. This isn't real gold, by the way. It's just picking it on. Alright. Next. Oh yeah, boy, huh? Let's load him up. Now with him holding the axe, it really looks like me, or my Bloodhound version, because I have the skin and, of course, I have the heirloom. And it's very cool. It gives off the beautiful detail of true Bloodhound, and it can be held by the other Bloodhound. So just in case if you don't like this skin, you can always have the default skin holding the heirloom. Probably most of his other accessories will all of his other accessories. Um, okay. Now he has Arthur. And it is really good. The only... Well, actually, I'll tell you at the end. It has not the best grip. I'll show you that. But it does really look give off the look of Bloodhound once again. The true Bloodhound. And my least favorite thing... This is why... Um, it comes off way too easily. Like, I'm not joking. While that little, um, you heard before this thing, um, he fell off when I grabbed him and put him over here. So, alright, next accessory. The base. This helps him stand. Not good on a bed. But it helps him stand. Has nice detail. I showed you that earlier, but nice detail. Okay, now the next accessory. It's the charge rifle. I don't know why I did this one last. It's actually one of my favorite accessories. Um, it makes it look like he has a weapon. He can also hold the peacekeeper, too, but it's not that good of a grip. He can hold it, yes, but he can only hold it like this. Without it, it just comes off way too easily. It's kind of the same thing with the normal Bloodhound. It's just that it's more tighter of a grip because bigger fingers hold it, but it's still really loose. If you do a little bit of fiddling, technically he can hold the charge rifle. It's much more better, though. But it actually doesn't come off as easily. So. Alright, I almost forgot to mention this, but there's a little plug on the back. That allows you to store the weapon. You cannot store two weapons at a time. You can only store one. Well, I guess you can store two. If you do this, this can store two. But this doesn't count. Does it? No, it doesn't. It comes off way too easily. But this is actually a really cool feature. Sadly, the port kind of sticks out when it's not on the figure. But it still works. And in the game, yes, he can store a heirloom on his back. But it's not the best connection. As you can tell, it doesn't even fit on it. It comes up super easily. But it does stay there. So technically, you can do it. Alright, let's get into size comparisons now. Here's the Young Blood Bloodhound next to Default Bloodhound or just Normal Bloodhound. Quite the same size. Here's Bloodhound, Young Blood. Next to Baldi, Angry Baldi to be exact. Here's Bloodhound Young Blood. Next to Marvel Legends Hasbro Nova. Here's Bloodhound Young Blood. Next to Transformers Hasbro Headmasters Croc. Here's Bloodhound Young Blood. Next to Hasbro's Marvel Legends Doppelganger. Here's Bloodhound Young Blood next to Bloodhound Funko Pop. Here's Bloodhound Young Blood next to Funko's Funtime Freddy action figure. And here's Marv, not Marvel. Here's Bloodhound Young Blood next to Marvel Legends Sentinel. I don't think anything is going to be bigger than this. Well. Maybe one thing. And finally, you probably haven't expected this. <sighs> Bloodhound Young Blood next to Godzilla. 
or 